Hello everyone. Today we are going to design a column subjected to combined axial load and biaxial bending. Let us read the question and write the given data. Design the reinforcement in a short column 400 millimeter into 600 millimeter. D is given as 600 and B is given as 400. Subjected to an ultimate axial load of 1600 kN. The ultimate load PU is given in kN. We can convert that into Newton together with the ultimate moments of 120 kN and 90 kN meter about the major and minor axis respectively. The movement in the major axis MEX is given in kN meter. We can convert that into Newton millimeter. The movement in the minor axis MUY is given in kN meter. We can convert this also into Newton millimeter. The value of D is 600 millimeter. In this case, let us assume the effective cover D as 60 millimeter. Because 60 upon 600, it will be 0 0.1. So for our own convenience, we are keeping D as 60 millimeter. First, we are going to find the area of the steel. Let us find the gross area. 600 into 400, we will get the gross area. Let us provide 1% of steel. So area of the steel will be 1 upon 100 into gross area. We will get 2400 millimeter square. Then to find the number of the bars and diameter of the bars, we can use trial and error method. When we use trial and error method, we must get an area approximately equal to this area and a little more than this area. I have used 8 numbers of 20 mm diameter bars. I am getting an area approximately equal to this area and more than this area. Since the provided area is more than the required area, the percentage P will change. Let us find that the provided area upon the gross area into 100, we will get the correct percent which is 1.04. We have designed the longitudinal reinforcement. Now we have to check whether the section is safe against biaxial bending. For that we have to prove this condition. In this expression only we know MUX and MUY. We have to find MUX1, MUY1 and alpha n. Let us see how to find them. Let us find D dash upon D. We will get 0.1. We know the value of P, 1.04. Let us open SP16, page number 129, chart number 44. I have selected this chart because D dash upon D is 0.1 and our FI is 415 Newton per millimeter square. Also, I am going to distribute the reinforcement equally on the four sides. Let us find P upon FCK. We will get 0 0.052. From the chart, we can write these two terms. Only one difference is here it is written as MU, but here it will be MUX1. For PU upon FCK BD, we will get 0 0.333. This is 0 0.3. This is 0 0.32. This is 0 0.34. 0 0.333 comes between 0 0.32 and 0 0.34. So in between we have to make a line. P upon FCK is 0 0.052. This is the curve of 0 0.04 and this is the curve of 0 0.06. 0 0.05 comes in between both of them. So we have to make a vertical line in between. This point comes between 0 0.08 and 0 0.09. So let us keep MU upon FCK BD square approximately 0 0.085 because it comes between both of them. For MU X1, we will get this value. This is a bigger value. We can convert that into kN meter. For that we have to divide this value by 10 power 6. When we do that we will get 244.8. We can round that to 245. Now let us find the non-dimensional parameters in the minor axis. 
here we have to be very careful we have to interchange b and d in the previous step d was 600 and b was 400 but now b should be 600 and d should be 400 for d dash upon d we will get 0 0.15 now let us open the chart 45 I have opened this chart because here we have FI as 415, D dash upon D is 0 0.15 and we know that we are going to distribute the reinforcement equally on the four sides. We know that 0 0.33 comes between 0 0.32 and 0 0.34. So in between we have to make a horizontal line. P upon FCK is 0 0.052. It comes between the curves 0.04 and 0.06. In between both of the curves, we have to make a line. This point is 0.08. So for MUY1 upon FCK BD square, we will get exactly 0.08. So for MUY1, we will get this. Then we can convert that into kilonewton meter. Then we can round this value as 153 kilonewton meter. We know that the grass area is area of the concrete plus area of the steel. So area of the concrete will be AG minus ASC. We know the values of AG and ASC. Let us apply them so that we will get AC. Let us open this code book page number 71. Let us write this equation. In this equation, let us apply the values. For PUZ, we will get this. We can convert this into kilonewton. For that, we have to divide this by 1000. So, we can keep it approximately 2919 kilonewton. For PU upon PUZ, we will get 0.548. Now, we are going to find alpha n. When PU upon PUZ is 0.2, we can take alpha n as 1. When PU upon PUZ is 0.8, we can keep alpha n as 2. But we need to find alpha n for 0.548. We can do interpolation. The smaller value is 1. So 1 plus the bigger value minus the smaller value. And then 0.8 minus 0.2 into the value for which we have to find alpha n. That is 0 0.548 minus 0.2 in this way for 0.548 we will get alpha n as 1.58 now in this equation we can apply all of the values when we calculate we will get 0.756 which is less than 1 so the section is safe under biaxial bending we know how to design the diameter of the lateral ties and its pitch let us keep the diameter of the lateral ties as 8 mm in the spacing of 300 mm. Here you can see the cross section. For these two bars, we can provide an open tie. Also, for these two bars, we can provide an open tie. Now we are going to end this session. Thank you for watching this video.